I think events like this are very much um, needed here in the Rio Grande Valley. It helps attract um, people and give it inseminate information about our university and different programs that we have around here. I think it's interesting and ed 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 educational. Because this is at the age that they're very young and they, they're beginning to experiment, you know, with what they want to learn and you know, what interests them. And if you expose a student, a, a child, to something like this, you know, many times this, it'll, it'll snap something in them. Today I learned a lot about science. A little robot, robot climbing over our bodies. So I like studying about space. It's really interesting with all this stuff here that we're projects and we're tested out. ¿Qué pasó, mi gente? To my generation, to the younger generation, doesn't matter if you're Latino, if you're Caucasian, you're black, you're green, you're orange, follow your dreams. If you want to be a scientist, right, build a spaceship, go for it, do that. If you want to become a teacher, if you want to be an actor, and sometimes in life we get afraid, we get scared, sometimes we say, you know what, there's no opportunities in our, in our community, well go out there, look for it. Go online. Went down to the biology lab and they were just amazed by all the exhibits that they had. I'd rather have hold the rocks and look at it in person without reading it. I get to understand it better. I see the curiosity in the students and it um, attracts much attention because those are prospect university students. I think it's real fascinating that they have all these things for us. It's pretty cool car. Nice. Very good experience for the students right here. The spy glasses is cool. But you got to put them on and then you turn and there's a little mirror in the back and you get to see whoever is behind you. Contemplate of coming or not and I said we cannot miss it this year. We heard so much about it in the past years and I wanted the boys to expo be exposed to this. Earlier they were too young but now I think that this is the age to bring them over. What's it like being an astronaut? Because I want to be one when I grow up. Well, outstanding. The job is lots and lots of hard work with occasional times of the coolest adventures you can possibly imagine. It was better than I had dreamed all those years of dreaming about it. Pretty much all the kids have been very enthusiastic about watching the rocket, the science behind it. They want to know what causes rockets to go out. And that really brings joy into, into me uh, as an ed educator. We do all of this because your children will shape the 21st century. Your children will reach the stars. Your children will make our country greater than it's ever been. I think that they benefit from being exposed to this and, and not only that, in this area because of, the, of our culture, uh, we tend to probably you know, not encourage our kids to leave the valley and to learn other things. And this is something that is brought to us. And, you know, I think it's very interesting. And we're keeping up with the rest of the universities, I believe. I think, believe it's very, it's fascinating. Nothing is a bigger waste than to have an empty library. A lot of uh, people would rather be out there smoking, whatever it is you're smoking, token, whatever it is you're token. If you really want to get high, go into a library, read a book that'll blow your mind. You'll be able to go, wow! Hijola, there was this vato named Shakespeare. The things he did. Of course, all the vatos that are hired gonna be going, ay, you're tan loco.